Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and this is my friend, the OctoCat, and I want to talk to you about how you can change GitHub branch names and then push those changes down to your developer machines. Now, as you can see, I've got a GitHub repository here. It's called Git Branch Names. I'm on the main branch right now, and you can see that over here I've pulled that GitHub repository down. So there is the clone. Now, there is a problem. You will notice that if I click view all branches here from my repository, you'll see that there's a branch called bog fix. I ain't trying to fix bogs. I'm trying to fix bugs. So I need to change that branch name. Now there is a little bit of complexity here. Uh, if I wanted to change this branch name, all I'd have to do is click this little pencil icon and change it, which I'm going to do in a moment. But I want to show you where the problem is. The problem is right here in my local development sheet. If I go git branch a, you'll notice that over here I've got the bog fix and my user can do a git switch bog fix. And you can see that all the files, including devo.html from that bog fix branch are on the local machine. Git branch dash A will actually show you that bog fix branch is now a local branch as well as having a remote tracking branch for it on my client machine as well. So I want to rename this branch and I'm going to do that right now. Here's how you rename a GitHub branch. I'm just going to change it from bog fix to da -da -da -da, bog bug fix. The change is done. Life is good. But again, git branch dash a over here shows you that nothing has changed. And in fact, you're probably thinking, oh, well, just do a git pull from origin, right? And you, you think that would change it. And over here, it looks like, well, maybe it did. So I'll do a git branch dash a now. And you can see, oh, okay, well, we have the bug fix. Well, we've got the bug fix, but we've also still got bog fix. So it didn't really solve it. What about a git fetch? I don't know. Does that do anything? Git branch dash a. Yeah, we still got the bug fix and we still got the bog fix. Well, here's the trick. Okay, after renaming the branch on the server, you need to go down to each client and do a git fetch and then use the prune command. Now, as I run this prune command, you'll notice after I do a git branch dash a afterwards that the bog fix remote tracking branch will have disappeared. There you go. Boom. The bog fix has been deleted. And if I do that good old git branch dash a, you'll see that I've got the remote tracking branch for the bug fix, but the bog fix is gone. Um, well, it's gone remotely, but it's not gone locally. So. The next things your clients need to do is they need to actually delete that bog fix branch. Now, you might get excited and go git branch dash dash delete bog fix. But if you're on the bog fix branch, that won't work. You'll end up getting messages that says can't delete the branch bog fix because it's checked out. So what you do is you switch to another branch. Notice I'm using switch, not checkout. Uh, we stopped using checkout in 2020. So get with the time, start using switch. Now that I'm on the main branch, you can see it says the main branch over here. I can delete the bog fix branch. I can do a git branch dash a. Oh, it says it's not fully merged. So I will just do a dash big D, give it the big D. And after you give it the big D, there we go. It's uh, That'll just force the delete actually. And then I can take a look at all the branches, git branch dash a. And notice that we've got the main branch. We've got a remote tracking branch, branch for bug fix. We don't actually have it locally, but to get it locally, just switch to it. So git switch bug fix. And there we go. We now have the bug fix branch renamed to bug fix on the server. Uh, git fetch origin gets rid of the remote tracking branch. And then finally, a git branch dash dash delete with the name of the bog fix branch deletes it from the client and you'd actually have to have everybody in your client deleting those now word of warning if you're going to do that uh, you might want to have everybody push their changes to the uh, github repository first so you get all of the latest changes on that bug bog fix branch before you rename it to bug fix and then make sure everybody pulls it down optionally people could pull it down merge their changes from the bog fix branch uh, into the bug fix branch and then delete bog fix. But there you go. Those are the ins and outs of changing a GitHub branch name and pushing those changes down to your clients, making sure all of your developers get that change as well.
Now, if you learned something in that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. Lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps, tools, cloud native development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNC. And please, subscribe on the YouTube.